Okay, when you grab these consoles, it's going to be very valuable if you can actually remote control what they do. It's all very well having this up in the control room, but you might want to grab another console or another laptop. So conveniently over here next to my console, I've got a laptop. Now it's uh, not actually connected to anything except Wi-Fi. And uh, what we've got uh, here is three little programs that were installed as part of the offline editor software for, for Palette. And uh, the, the system that I've just started is the remote Palette. Now, what this has done is this is actually linked into my main console just over here. So it's showing me exactly the same things as, uh, as, as happening on my main console. So if I grab these faders here, um, I don't know if you can see that terribly well, but the, uh, the submasters are actually fading up and down on my screen here. Likewise, I can trigger um, queues and things like that, and the queues are shown to be running over here. I can also, the particular version of this that I've run, I can take control directly from the laptop and uh, send things to levels, I can uh, uh, record cues if I want to, I can do uh, everything that I can do on the main console, I can actually do here. Which is one of those things that can be very useful and, you know, perhaps a little bit dangerous. And it does require a little bit of IT setup so that you can get the two things talking to each other. On the screen there's a button here that I haven't really pressed yet, which is called Control Panel. Now, when I bring the control panel up, this is your only real window into the world of Windows XP. And we'll go through what some of the more important aspects of this uh, panel is in a little bit, in a little bit now. But um, right now we're concerned with this particular icon here. And you can see that a whole bunch of stuff pops up when I put my cursor over it. And what this is telling me is my console IP address which happens to be a number that um, uh, is, is what this uh, uh, console is on the network, that is the number that I need to dial in when I'm using the laptop and um, uh, starting up this software. So as it was booting, you might have noticed there was a little uh, screen that came up first. It remembered the, um, the uh, IP address from the last time I ran it, and so all I had to do was hit enter and off we went and it connected straight in. Now, remote console, I'll just bring up that window again on our main display. Uh, remote console is something you can actually launch from a actual console itself. So if you had two consoles, you could have, as we have done on previous shows, a main console where the uh, person's tracking the queues and then a console that's closer into the action where the um, uh, where they can see moving lights, for example, and be able to tweak those positions. So that button does that. There's another button over here. I'll just bring that back. She times out after a little bit of time. There's another button over here which says launch a tracking backup session. A tracking backup session uses exactly the same kind of connection between a console and a laptop and what it does is it allows your second machine, be it a laptop or another console, to track the exact position in the queue of the first console. It copies a copy of the show across and uh, then if one console has some particular problem and drops off the network, the second machine can take control. And even if you happen to be sort of part way through a 20 second queue, and that happened to be right the moment when the, um, the uh, problem occurred, it is possible that your um, tracking backup console, if it detects the problem, can take control of your show and continue on and your audience may not even have known that there was a problem, which is exactly what you want from a tracking uh, console.